<clears throat> to find this recipe, visit Dosney. 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 Hi, I'm Selen Kiasm of Oklava in Shoreditch. Today in the Gosni kitchen, I'm going to be cooking lahmacun, which is a very traditional Turkish recipe of a thin flatbread with spiced lamb mince. So we're going to start by making the um, spiced lamb mince topping. We need to blend up a load of veggies for this. We've got some tomatoes, red pepper, some onion, and then we're going to put in a big pile of parsley as well. But what we'll do is we'll get this going first in the blender. Should have been on my diva request. Large mm. blender. No further mixes around these parts. <laughs> Garlic in there as well. We would want to have quite a finely chopped consistency to this, but you want to catch it before it turns into like a milkshake. Finely chopped consistency there. Remove the excess liquid from there. Then we've got some lamb mints. So we're just going to pop the veggies straight into there. And then to the lamb mints, we're going to add some minced up lamb fat or lamb suet. Uh, might, you might find it a little bit difficult to find this, but um, if you can, or if you put in a special request with your butcher, I'm sure it won't be a problem. Um, if not, then try and get sort of a lamb mince with a pretty good fat content. So then the final uh, ingredients are obviously some salt, uh, hot pepper paste going in there, some tomato puree, some Turkish chili flakes. These are called pul biber. And then the final ingredient is a little bit of sunflower oil or vegetable oil. And then you want to get in there and give it a really good mix. Here we go. So we're giving that a good mix. And you can see it's really nice and soft and it's going to be easily spreadable over the flatbread. Okay, so now we've come to the bit of rolling out the dough. So you may have seen the recipe uh, for this dough when I was doing the cheese pide recipe. Again, you can find it online on gosney.com and just start to pat out the circle. We want to try and keep these as circular as possible and use enough flour to roll out and keep spinning, rolling and spinning all the time. And then maybe give it a little flip over, take on a little bit more flour and again carry on rolling. So you want to try and get it as even as possible so be careful you're not putting too much pressure on one side of the rolling pin. So when you get to this sort of size Start going on from diagonal to diagonal, kind of with your with the rolling pin and kind of bring it around. So you can see the dough is nice and thin there. It's about one to two millimeters thick and nice and even. So then we've got our circle. I'm gonna put down a little bit of flour again from a height, kind of dust it on so you don't have big clumps of it. And you wanna make sure that the, that the base can move around before you start putting the mince on. And take the mince and from the center, kind of start to put out little pieces of the mince. Use your fingers to start patting it out. A really important uh, piece of information that I'm about to give you is you want to make sure that it's always moving, so then turn it. If you just keep going and you keep pushing down, also dependent on the, the heat of the room that you're making it in, then it will stick to the board or the counter and you won't be able to get it off. You want nice one thin, even covering of the mince, so that mince almost becomes like one with the dough. And then what I like to do is leave some bits of the dough exposed, and then these will puff up in the rock box. Okay, so we're ready to go there. As you can see, it's moving freely. We've got a nice, even covering of the mince, and our nice bits of dough, which don't have anything on them, so they'll puff up nicely. I'm just gonna give my hands a wash now. Okay, so now's the most exciting part. Uh, we're going to get to cook this little puppy in the uh, in the rock box. Take your pill, make sure it's not hot, and just slide it straight under in one go, okay? You want to obviously make sure that it fits onto the peel as well before you start doing this. The uh, rock box is set at 450 to 500, big flame, and in we go. And you see it immediately starts puffing up, which is exactly what we want. And then as soon as we've got that, we're going to go in. and then give it a spin. And again, and give it one last spin. And there we go. That's the lahmacun, which is probably my favorite dish on at the restaurant. Perfectly crisp, but still bendy. 
So the best way to eat this is to give it a really good squeeze of lemon. You always know when the, the Turks come into the restaurant because they ask for extra lemon, so you know that they're having a lapangem. And at the restaurant, we always serve it with a chopped salad and some pickled red cabbage. But very traditionally, it's just some parsley that goes in there and a little bit of uh, red onion. I've just put a bit of sumac on there as well and a little bit of salt. And then just fold it over and wrap it up. That's so good. I warn you, you'll need to make a big pile of these because everyone's going to want more than one. To find this recipe for my lahmacun, visit gosney.com. Gonna do that again, guys. Gonna okay. do that again. Didn't like it. <laughs> to find this recipe for my lahmacun, visit. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Feel the wrap. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> Ish. We need to make some more, don't we? We need to make some more. Yeah.